Hey everybody, Norm over here, and we are doing like, uh, you know, a survey of a guitar that was sent to us that we just, uh, we always like to kind of make sure what is original, what is not. Um, so the, this is a 56 Strat. It's a very nice guitar, but there are a few things that have been changed. The pickup covers have been changed. Possibly the original ones might have cracked. It has been refretted. And we believe that there's, uh, it's a new nut, and we believe there's some overspray on the fingerboard. Very light, not a lot, but it's there. Um, on the bridge here, these set screws here have been uh, replaced. These are newer screws. Um, you know, these are not terrible things, but they, you know, we like to point everything out. Mm -hmm. And Moss, why don't you show them what's inside here. Right. Um, there's a little, um, like, wood putty in here, but we think it's probably right uh, from the factory, but um, it's, you know, it's a little strange. The old routing is the, uh, you know, looks right to me, but uh, can you just move, maybe move over here? It is easy to see on mm -hmm. the other side. On the side of the we pick up route. Looks like it is a wood putty or compound. I'm not for sure what it is. And here, here, over here, it's kind of all over. And I don't see so much on the route of the jack. Maybe you can from here. So if I see just this, the uh, you know, it is just normal. But uh, this right. is something unusual. But do you think that that could have been done at the factory? Because it looks pretty clean. It is, otherwise. but uh, I've never seen that kind of thing say, on the uh, 50s Stratocaster. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, whenever you know the factory used the, the buff, the compound is normally a more lighter color, you know, like mm -hmm. almost like a white. It is like a beige. You know. So what do you think about the uh, originality of the finish on the body? And all? Well, finish is pretty close to the original, and the tone of the color. Only the unusual things is the width of the, this, you know, the brown part here. Here. It is a pretty wide here and a pretty narrow here. It is kind well, of that, really unusual. I think that it's unusual, but that depends on who is spraying. Exactly. Like, uh, and sometimes it is hard when we didn't see many of those. You know, yeah. It is just inconsistency of the sunburst. And uh, the splash of the spray paint here, it is a little cold here. And maybe edge here. It's just a setting up of spray guns. And again, it is the same right thing. Here. Right. We've been seeing. One like this many times, so it is just an inconsistency at the factory. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. And there's no evidence of the, uh, the refinish. And the, uh, if we suspect that this finish is a refinish, okay, reason why somebody has to do the refinish. Because it is the same color as the original, right. and there's uh, no so much damage on the wood itself. Right, you would see, th you know, if, especially if it was sunburst to sunburst, they would, you know, there would generally be something mm -hmm. that we would look at and go, well, it was probably worn over here and then the guy decided to refinish, but I don't see any of that. Right, you know, and at the surface of Rakka layer of the finishes are really close to the original. So if we just you know, see, you know, the, uh, the, the finish layer of surface partially, there's no question to, you know, suspect it is a refinish. That's what I feel. Yeah, looking at the wiring and all that, you know, I mean, what do you think on that? Uh, since we know the pickup cover has been replaced, uh, but it is not look like a very new, so it you know, looks pretty much brand new. And, and also the rubber. Uh, right, those tubes front. are newer. Obviously, in the 50s, it is all, you know, did a mess, but it is still in good shape. And the, these tapes are original, and also we see that those points here, the soldering joint on the pickups, it's never been touched, so which means the uh, the color of the coil is right, so pickup never been rewound or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, potentiometer is the it's a different a uh, little different shape from the other 50s in the the, uh, the strut, but this is a factory original as well. And the switches and all wiring, the tone caps, those are all original. So I can say this in the pickup assembly is pretty much original. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, we believe that the finish on the guitar in general is original, but you know, there's a couple unusual things with mm -hmm. that uh, putty over there, which right. they could have done at the factory at the time. You mm -hmm. know, um, on the fingerboard here, when they refretted it, there's a little bit of clear 
Um, well, I think the uh, the you know it's a wider part of the fingerboard, you know, from here to here. It's been oversprayed pretty much. Very uh, lightly. Very say. lightly. Here it is maybe thicker. We can see it, and then they replace the uh, the frets, and they replace the nut, and they cut the nut. They kind of a mess. I don't know if they did it intentionally or not, mm -hmm. but they had a fire mark over here. So the finish layer here and headstock. This is the uh, original. We can tell. And this is a way grossier. It's a different type of the lacquer. Well, mm -hmm. you know, same probably in you know, nitro cellulose lacquer, but it's different. So this is way newer. And the back of the neck there, you know, uh, in the middle there, this looks like that could have had a little bit of clear too. Right? Well, actually, from about here to here, it's been oversprayed. And because, again, here, this is the original finish. It is nothing so much different from the uh, finish on the headstock on the top side. But from here, here, yes, people pray a lot, so they get the, the more grossier. However, it is a totally different type of lacquer, I can tell. And the reason why they need to do that, because what I feel is the, uh, the skunk stripe issue. And I can still feel a little bit of the pop-up, the, uh, this walnut skunk stripe here. It we can feel it. A bit. Yeah, well, it is a common problem on the, the maple one piece, you know, mm -hmm. the, the fender necks. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one here, it's still, you know, uh, just a very, you know, like a hair, but it's still there. And so, we're, you know, we're being like a little overcritical, but we have to, mm -hmm. in order to divulge whatever we know to our customers right. on this. Um, this also, um, the earlier 56 would have a strand, round string retainer. This is has a butterfly. Little, yeah. Yeah. And also ne uh, the end of the, uh, the neck, it is uh, uh, October 56 can see it. This so is it's a very nice guitar, mm -hmm. but there are a few little things and so we just like to point that out to our customers and just to make sure that uh, we know what we have and you know that our customers know exactly what they're getting. And you know guitars of this age, you know at some point almost everything's going to have something done to it a little bit. And so um, the guitar is almost as old as I am and you know so um, and you can see where it says 56 over here. Yeah, it's hard to see the 5 or 6 and still same kind of a powder. I don't know it's compound or what, but it's yeah. still there. And, and this is one of those ones, would you say this is ash or alder? Uh, this is absolutely alder. Yeah, because yeah. it's got a little bit of grain like ash would have, but mm. not, not a whole bunch. You know, it's got those. And we see the uh, seam line thing. here yeah. and here. The seams. So, yeah, seems to be the three piece body. Yeah. It's kind of hard to move here. So basically that's it. So it's this 56 Strat, late 56. Um, very nice guitar, be a great player, uh, but there are a couple little issues. We like to point them out and uh, I hope you enjoy our uh, discovery here. So thank you very much for watching. Right, thank, thank you, you. Masa. All right, thank it. you, Norman. Okay. Thank you, Jen. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>